Wow, guys, have I got one for you today. OMG, as they say. So this is a fascinating clip of Jimmy Dore, and I'm going to narrate a little. But finally, we see none other than Mr. Gates admitting what we were saying since 2020 and got censored for. And there's no way to censor this because it's the words of Mr. Gates himself and the comedian Jimmy Dore is simply commenting on what he says. But here we go. And then at that point, we didn't really understand the fatality rate. You know, we didn't understand that it's a fairly low fatality rate and that it's a disease mainly of the elderly, kind of like flu is, although a bit different than. How did you know, Jimmy? <laughs> How did you find that out? <laughs> Isn't it weird that I knew that before him? Isn't it weird that I knew that? A pot-smoking comedian in his garage somehow knew that before Bill Gates, Mr. Vaccine. And the experts at the foundation. And the experts at the foundation didn't know it. Isn't that weird that they didn't know it had a low fatality rate? Do you hear what he's saying? And that it mostly affects the elderly. And he said it was like the flu. That's what he said. Now, if I said those things, they'd take my channel down on YouTube. Exacto mundo, Jimmy. I got censored to hell and back, shadow banned, everything for saying exactly that and showing the actual data at the same time since mid-2020 and certainly late 2020 and onwards. That's what happened. But anyway, let's go ahead and hear some more from Jimmy. And what we should have done was the Barrington Declaration, which was targeted, which was you protect the people who are most vulnerable to COVID, which are the elderly with the comorbidities. That's who you try to protect. The average age of death from COVID is over the age of life expectancy. It's higher than the life expectancy. And this is what we ruined everyone's life over. And now he's admitting it. And no one gives a shit. No one, this isn't going to be run on CNN for a week. Rachel Maddow isn't going to come on and say we were all wrong. Exactly. Again, gbdeclaration.org is the website. An absolute no-brainer from the history of pandemic science. The people who are unaffected, younger and healthier, can spread and can build immunity, which will help the elderly frail avoid the worst effects of any virus of this type. No brainer. And of course, we're not going to see this clip or any of this on the media because it goes against the original narrative. Therefore, it will not be publicized, sadly. But anyway, let's go ahead and hear some more. And this person says, sign someone's lying over exaggeration, hand gestures and face touching. They knew it was a low fatality rate. Oh, haha. you know what? I should have Scott Rouse to analyze this. And this had 658 likes, which is why I thought this was worth sh sharing. Like, yeah. I'm not a body language expert, but he's lying about something. I suspect part of his motive here is to rebrand himself as reasonable on these issues, a form of triangulation. That's exactly what this f is doing. That is exactly what he's doing. Yep. Diamond Princess, February 2020, Professor Michael Levitt, Nobel Prize winner in chemical and reaction modeling, mathematical, right person, saw this. And he wrote to Imperial College London and they just told him to go away. So this was known from the Diamond Princess. Professor John Ioannidis, one of the most celebrated scientists, doctors and epidemiologists of all time, one of the most published and cited. He did the antibody studies with others and showed the same kind of 0.15% mortality rate for this a particular pathogen. And of course, a thousand times worse for the elderly frail versus younger people. And essentially, it was in the envelope of a bad or severe flu, which you are now allowed to say because I guess Mr. Gates can say it. Therefore, little people can say it too. Literally, everyone who looked at the data said it had a low fatality rate and that it was a disease mainly in the elderly. But you weren't allowed to say it. And the people who looked into the data were shamed for doing their own research. 
What are you looking into the facts? <laughs> what are you reading? Everyone knows that nothing good comes from reading. Yep. Imagine reading and being able to understand basic data, basic rates, basic quotients, simple math. You know, that makes you a menace to society. At least it did a year or two ago. And now maths seems to be back on the table. You're allowed to talk about mathematics again and basic numbers and obvious logic and proportionality is back in vogue, apparently. I'll just leave you now with the original clip again, just in case you didn't hear it correctly the first time. And then at that point, we didn't really understand the fatality rate. You know, we didn't understand that it's a fairly low fatality rate and that it's a disease mainly of the elderly, kind of like flu is, although a bit different than. As always, hope you enjoyed that. And don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button, all important. And do hit that little notification bell also. And thanks so much to all my Patreon and PayPal supporters. Helps keep me going. That's a key source of income. And with trips to London and all the other work I do, it really helps to keep supported there at some level. So anyone else seeing my material, again, please consider hopping on. The links are down below. So thanks, everyone. And here's the place where you get the non-corporate, non-media, legacy, biased kind of information and data. And I hope to keep delivering that so you can keep enjoying getting true insights into what's going on in the world today. Thank you.